I know what you're thinking. Propellers are amazing. They've powered our world for the past 200 years, from the iconic SS Great Britain, to the steam engine, to even helping us reach the skies. But let me ask you this. Can technology from the past really take us into the future? Because let's be real, if that were the case, we'd all still be using Morse code and riding steam trains to work. Sometimes, to do a technological breakthrough, we have to look at those who have been on this planet far longer than we have. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Oh, and stick around to see the meme at the end of the video. One area where we humans still struggle is conquering the sea. Sure, we've built underwater robots for things like search and rescue or studying marine life, but they all have one thing in common, propellers. Now, these propellers are far from perfect. They're noisy underwater, scaring away fish, and they're energy inefficient, converting rotational movement into linear thrust, which wastes a lot of energy. That's why a group of four scientists from the University of Electrocommunications in Tokyo set out to reinvent underwater thrust. Just last year, they published their findings in a paper titled Biomimetic Soft Underwater Robot Inspired by the Red Muscle and Tendon Structure of Fish. Spoiler alert, no propellers were used. They began by studying mackerel fish, which are masters of corangiform swimming, where most of the movement happens in the back half of the body, like a dolphin swim. To make efficient propulsion, they focused on red muscle fibers, which are like ropes that pull and bend the body. These ropes need tendons, which act like wires connecting to the bones. And here's the secret they uncovered, the so-called A-O-T-P-O-T -O -O loop. It's a clever tendon system that perfectly transfers the muscle's pull, allowing the fish to glide effortlessly. Inspired by this, they set out to replicate the entire vertebrate system, leading to a completely new type of propulsion. And this is when they created the UEC mackerel, an underwater robot with no propeller but just fins, that doesn't just swim, but glides through the water. Imagine of a fish that never gets tired, doesn't need food, and has wires for muscles. They swapped the real muscles for shape memory alloys that contract like fish muscles. And of course, they also replicated the AOTPOT -T loop system. And the results? It worked. The new UEC mackerel robot moved more efficiently, quieter, and with less energy waste than traditional propellers. Now here's my take on all of this. I think the researchers did a great job of identifying and replicating the structures inside the mackerel that make it swim so efficiently. But here is the part that I think is exciting. Imagine if we scaled this silent swimming technology to create submarines that move just as silently as the, the UEC mackerel. The possibilities would be mind-blowing. It could be revolutionized military submarines, which are currently being tracked by the noise of their propellers. But what if there were no propeller at all? Would they still be able to detect it? It's a wild idea, but one that could completely change underwater technology. And now, the meme of the week. Join our mission of bringing peer review to every household around the world. See you next Wednesday.